Hey everybody, this is Liz with Connecting Threads. In today's video, I'm going to walk you through how to access the block library inside Electric Quilt 8. Now, if you do not have EQ8, we sell it on our website, and I also recommend buying the Electric Quilt 8 for Beginners book. It's a really great introduction for how to use the program. Let's go ahead and jump right in by clicking on the search for block patterns button on the main homepage. Once you double click, it will open up this huge library. Now we are in the classic pieced category and these are all different types of blocks. Each category has subcategories and you can see that there are so many fun blocks to choose from. Now, once you close up your categories, you'll see that you have a lot of different options here from foundation piece, classic applique, all the way down to sashing. Once I double click on foundation pieced, you'll see that there are so many fun subcategories here. I'm going to scroll down and you'll notice as I get down here, there is a section called holidays Christmas. Once I open it up, one of the first blocks you will see is actually that little Christmas tree block that I used for one of the art frame cards. Now, if you are looking for other holidays, including Hanukkah, you will go down to the Holidays Other, and this is where you're going to find a six-point star block, along with a couple of other really fun ones. Now, when you're ready to select a block, all you need to do is double-click, and voila, your block will open up. Now, if you are unfamiliar with this interface, this is a really great time to remind you that you can definitely use a little bit of education with Electric Quilt. I know that the learning curve for this program can be a little tough. ElectricQuilt.com has some incredible information along with some fabulous videos that will help walk you through some of the basics. Now, the most important part of this block is going to be resizing it to fit the art frame cards. So the first thing that I'm going to do is go up to the block width and height, and I'm going to change them both to three inches instead of the listed six inches. Next, I need to go in and I need to make some adjustments to the actual block. This block itself was designed to have many more colors than I had originally intended. So I need to go through and select a whole bunch of these lines and get rid of them because I do not want them included in my final foundation paper pieced block. So each one of these crossing lines through the points of this star, I'm gonna go ahead and remove. Now, once those are gone, this block is, at least for me, pretty much ready to go. I need to get it printed out on foundation paper piecing paper. So what we're gonna do is go up to print and export. You'll see a colored version of your block. And then what we are going to do is go to the left and select foundation. Once inside this dialog box, it's going to walk you through how to get this pattern printed for foundation paper piecing. It will walk you through the steps of what it's done and the sections that it is choosing for you. You can go and do it manually, but I'm gonna go ahead and say this is good to go. I've got my main section, which will be one color. Then I have a green, red, and yellow section, which will include some of the points of the stars and the background. I'll go ahead and go down to preview. Before I print, I want to make sure that this is going to look good. You'll notice that the layout is very odd. So all you need to do is click and drag those little pieces and move them around what will be your finished printed paper. Once we have these all sectioned out, now I can go over and I can press print. The process for doing this foundation paper piecing is so easy and so simple. Once you get the hang of creating these custom sized blocks, you are going to be sewing so many foundation paper pieced blocks that you found in Electric Quilt.